Radio Nigeria, uplifting the people and uniting the nation. It's seven o'clock. You're listening to the network service of Radio Nigeria. Welcome to the Bulletin of the News. I am Noura Muhammad. This news is streaming live on RadioNigeria.gov.ng. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Radio Nigeria HQ and on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Radio Nigeria Network. Experts have projected that the global community is most likely to move from a health crisis to serious economic uncertainties following the coronavirus pandemic. For example, both the United Nations and the World Bank say the situation in Nigeria with dwindling fortunes from oil, its mainstay requires alternative ways to salvage millions of people from imminent food insecurity. Suggestions are that there is an urgent need to diversify the economy with increase in cash crops production to avert a post-pandemic food and economic crisis. In this report, science correspondent Rabi Momo examines federal government's efforts to revive cotton production across the country to create jobs. For 40 years, Nigeria was rated as one of the cotton production destinations of the world with bumper yield, which was the source of raw materials for many textile industries that provided employment for millions of people. During pre-independence and just before the oil boom days, cotton, which was a major cash crop usually grown in Savannah Belt of the North and Southwestern region, contributed significantly to Nigeria's economic fortune. However, the situation has drastically changed as the commodity is no longer being produced reasonably, with many farmers quitting cotton production and textile industries are comatose, whereby making the country a dumping ground for substandard materials. Among the reasons for the drastic drop in cotton production in Nigeria are contaminated seeds, low quality yield and loss of interest in the farming of the commodity. But since the ravaging effect of coronavirus pandemic on the world economy, including Nigeria, revamping cotton production as an alternative way of boosting the nation's economy has become imperative. The Institution of Agricultural Research, Zaria, in collaboration with other research institutions and foreign partners, said they have now developed two hybrid varieties of cottons to enable farmers have quality seeds and address the challenge that have plagued the production of the cash crop for many years. Free samples of these new varieties have already been distributed to farmers across the 14 states of the north and southwest to experiment on them with a view to adopting the cash crop for mass production. The National Biotechnology Development Agency, NABDA, an open forum on agricultural biotechnology offer sponsors of this technology said the new varieties will address the challenge of insect and pest infestations, drought, seed viability, and flood. Soccer has come the way of our farmers and the textile industry following the development of a genetically modified variety of cotton. Implementation of new technologies is crucial to enhance yields up to four tons per hectare instead of less than one ton per hectare. According to the Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Bonaya Onu, there is an attempt by government to look inward and make available to farmers improved technologies that will enhance their yield and income even after the COVID-19 pandemic. Two farmers, Chairman Genius Association of Nigeria, Alhaji Saman Abdullahi and Malam Ibrahim Hazu, said it was long overdue to revamp cotton production and revive the textile industry. It is with cotton and groundnuts that we are able to even explore oil. If we are able to successfully achieve what we are aiming to achieve, you too will be a farmer. I had the opportunity of lunching about a quarter of an hectare and I was able to get about 728 kilograms. That's almost a ton, which was impossible even in those years, even if I have 20 hectares. Government in an attempt to cushion the effects of COVID-19 on the economy. The FCTCBN Anchor Borough Scheme has given farmers cotton seeds for this year's farming season, and the chairman of the association and members said reviving cotton production will help the country cope with the shock in prices of oil globally. We just abandoned it. Our textile shut down, but now government are trying to revive textiles as they try on rice. We are just starting. That's why the CBN approved only one hectare for each farmer to see how we are going to use time of pandemic to improve our economic status. I want to encourage my fellow farmers 
to join hand in this content activities to make sure we create other income to our resources. Meanwhile, a visit to some cotton farming communities in parts of the north. Some of them who were eagerly awaiting the technology said they were yet to know of such initiative by the government. It's a nice program, if really to come to go to be reality, but for now I don't get any real information about it. If this cotton farming is being revived, I think this will go a long way in curtailing the problem of unemployment and getting poverty. In response, the Director General of NAVDA, Dr. Alex Akwa said enlightenment campaign will be intensified throughout the cotton production states and call on the private sector to key into the technology through commercialization. The farmers are asking government to put measures in place amidst the coronavirus pandemic to enhance accessibility of the hybrid cotton seeds to them for large-scale adoption and production. This, they said, will create jobs for the teeming population and help in the realization of the dream of lifting millions of people out of poverty after the coronavirus pandemic in Abuja, Rabi Momo, Radio Nigeria. Radio Nigeria, uplifting the people and uniting the nation.